Welcome back to Europa Universalis IV. Last time we explored the history of Furistani independence, but today we're going to be visiting another one of our friends. That's right, Georgia. Known to be the hottest girl in your high school chemistry class, today we're going to be trying to take over the entire world as Georgia. Now, as Georgia, we find ourselves in the beginning of the game to be surrounded by enemies, most notably the stupid Muslim. But that's okay, because with a little political maneuver- Oh, we can't do that for you. But that's okay, because with a little political maneuvering, we can become a true power in the area- oh, I don't know, I guess, but I do. But that's okay, because with a little political maneuvering, we can build our own empire. See? We're already one step closer to crushing Kababa. Oh, no, they take Constantinople. So this is like a week later, and I forgot to save. So, I haven't even taken Circassia yet. On the bright side, Kebab still hasn't taken Constantinople! So, I still haven't learned a thing from our Tibet game and vassalized Circassia, who is at war with uh, these two friendos over here. Not my best move. I think I'm about to... No, 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 yeah, I'm about to get a PTF on. Okay, so we have appeased the gods and given up all of our spoils and lost all of our money. And Constantinople's gone again. Everything. It's kind of cool. Uh, I guess God just wants us to win. Here we make our final stand. Brave Georgians. We fight with honor. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No way! Ah. Uh, everything is right in the world. Okay, I take it back. Everything is not right in the world. For some reason, Byzantium is Sunni. It's kind of funny that for the rest of the game, the map will look like this. With everybody else being swine in the mud. While we Georgians are the enlightened beacons of prosperity. Oh, here come the spooky mamluks. They're trying to siege my land. Oh my. Oh, that's just glorious. <laughs> Curtis, man. Ave Maria. Deus full. Deus full. De that the gateway to Europe is open. Oh no, 38,000 Ottoman rebels, whatever will I do? Oh, look at that, not even a thousand casualty. At this point I'm just going balls to the wall. I mean like honestly, because nothing can stop me at this point. Okay, let's see, this might be a battle I can lose. 25,000 Georgians versus 67,000 everybody else. Like, only a thousand casualties and they took 30,000. I mean, look at this. I'm just I'm just making a beeline. I'm just making a beeline. I'm gonna slice Europe in half. You, you can't stop me. You can't stop me. George is too good. George is overpowered. It's funny how self-aware the AI is, like, they know they're gonna get pummeled. They keep their army as far away from me as possible, like, I bet Austria's army is, like, hiding over here or something. No, they're not even here. They're probably in some other country, like Genoa or something. So, Poland sent an insult over our way, so I decided to just kinda, you know, mess with their heads a bit, you know, play around with them. You know what I mean? Rough them up a bit, show them who's boss. You know, shove them around. Show them who's the big kid on the block. Next video. 
Venetian independence. Venetian <laughs> independence. And now the final march. The one on Rome. Let's make this quick, shall we? Burn that down, run inside. That's it, taken. Okay, annex. There we go, take all the money. And there is our Georgian Empire. We've come a long way since our humble beginnings in Georgia, losing Circassia and then expanding quickly across the entire world. But, you know, I think I'm done. And I think Europe's ready to form a coalition against me. <laughs>